Hi everybody, it's Kelly and Molly with your October Naughty Knit Box reveal. Woohoo! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! We love Halloween here. Oh, my favorite time. Yes. My favorite holiday. Mm -hmm. I like anything spooky. <laughs> it's fun. We go all out for the holidays. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes, and this month, if you get anywhere near downtown Roseburg, Oregon, mm -hmm. you have to come by and see our front window. It's going to be phenomenal. It has been about a year, if not more, in the making. In the making. And it is spectacular. It's For those of you subscribers that live out of the state, I will post photos at the end because we are just... Definitely. We have to toot our own horn on this one. <laughs> yeah. We think our the window we have up now is our aquarium window. Mm -hmm. Everything in it we have made or has been made for us. It's all these crocheted sea creatures. Yeah. Uh, it is the most amazing window. This is the second year that this window has been up and we added to the window this year. And we have <laughs> a laundry list of new creatures that we want to add for next year. <laughs> I know, I got so into making sea creatures mm -hmm. and I, I made giant ones. Yeah. It's I didn't. Really cool. I didn't knit for like a whole month. I used a whole big, huge bag of fiber fill, and that stuff goes a long way. I had so much fun yeah. making sea creatures. There are things like narwhals, giant squids, yeah. crabs, mm -hmm. starfish, jellyfish. Jellyfish. There's a shark. A hammerhead shark. You made this really cool bat ray. He was fun. Um, all kinds of different fish, um, there's otters, there's mermaids, it's a fun window if you get a chance to check it out on Facebook, it yep. is on our Facebook feed. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to scroll back <laughs> to the box. We had a shiny moment there, so yeah, now we're back to our reveal. Okay, here we go. Opening. Hey. We got yarn. We got yarn. Okay, this month, oh, one of my favorites, you get the Man of Still Uruguay, Maxima. I love Maxima. Even for a single ply, I still love it. Yeah, for those of you who are kind of in on a single ply, give it a shot. You'll love it. So Maxima is 100% extra fine merino. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for merino. 219 yards. It is a uh, kind of a heavy worsted, mm -hmm. um, but it's so squishy and warm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Um, great stitch definition on this yarn. Yeah. Like I said, I, I view, Maxima is one of my favorites. I will, I will go that way pretty much any chance I get. Just because, I, I don't know, there's something about Maxima. Yeah. Comes in a beautiful array of, well we have their solids. They do have some variegateds. Mm -hmm. um, your project this month we chose all solids for yes. your for your um, patterns this month just because it shows off the stitch definition in your patterns really, really well. Yes. So thank you to our friends at Manos. We absolutely love working with them, love their yarns, beautiful mm -hmm. colorways, real earthy colors. Yes. So thank you, Manos. And tip on winding, go slow because the fibers like to stick together. Sometimes they'll slightly felt. It's mm -hmm. still easily workable, doesn't really phase, but you can no. just kind of catch and snag when you're winding, could potentially break your yarn. So just go slow when you're winding, it'll cake up beautifully. Yeah, and you know, single plies break a little bit easier than applied yarn. They're not mm -hmm. as strong because they're not plied. Yeah. But the heavier weight single ply, you don't really have that much of an issue, but just, yeah, it does tend to stick Mm -hmm. on itself a bit yeah. so uh thanks again manos yes okay goodies all right so we got your stephen smith tea sending out some masala chai mm -hmm. uh your euclid some candy and then we have we love our people at bryson but we found another notions place called notions marketing and megan brought these in I don't even think they lasted a week in the store. They didn't. I didn't see them until you brought them in again. So I had her special order these awesome little button notion <laughs> cases. They just make me so. They, they make You're me not sad. excited about those. I, I'm not at all. I don't. I, I'm so excited to send these out to you guys. 
So it comes in this nice vibrant green so you can't miss it because we all know we lose things. And then tucked away inside is a darning needle because that's all you're really going to need for this project. Yep. At least for the pattern I used. Oh, these are my favorite darning needles. Mm -hmm. I like Tuck these. A little bit too. I love the bib tip, but I also like it has they're, they're easy to eye. thread. Yeah, it has a yeah. larger eye, especially for this. But yeah, this, yard. this needle is my go-to. I have them stashed mm -hmm. everywhere in there. Yeah. So, love them. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, so I'm so excited to send these guys out to you. So, fun little cute thing to set yeah. on the table, take with you. Yeah, so very excited about those. All right. All right. You ready for patterns? Ready for patterns. You start your mind. Oh, okay. So, this month we decided to do something a little different. Yes. So, your patterns this month come from us. Yours truly. Yours truly. So uh, you have a knit pattern from me and a crochet pattern from Molly mm -hmm. that have not been released yet. Uh, we will release them on Ravelry after you guys get them first. Yes. So here we go. I love yours. <sighs> I had so much fun. If, if, if you know me, you know I like texture. Anything with texture, I, I'm all about. And texture is easy to achieve in knitting. Mm -hmm. Because you can create it just with knits and pearls. It doesn't have to be anything extremely exactly. hard. Yeah. So, I, we chose to do cowls because we're getting into our cooler season. Mm -hmm. And so, this is my pattern. I love this is, I named it Fireweed because I live in Alaska part of the time. And in the summer, the fireweed blooms. And it's everywhere in Alaska. And it's one of my favorite things. And then as the summer progress and, you know, fall hits up there really early, um, you see the fire we just blow in the wind. I, and so it's one of my favorite things about Alaska. And so this reminded me of fireweed. So you have the fireweed cow. Um, very simple. Knits and pearls. You drop down below to do the, the fun little stitch here. But nothing difficult. So, and then just for fun, I wanted to see what it would look like in some other colors and maybe applied yarn. So this is done in one of the solids that you'll get in your box. This one was done out of one of the variegated that Manos has and it's, it's cool. You still see the stitch, just gives it a different dimension. And then this one, I know it looks smaller, but there's so much spring. This one I did in a Madeleine Tosh, one of a kind that we had in. I loved the color, so I grabbed it because I wanted to see how it will work up in applied yarn. So this is, um, I believe this is a skein of their vintage. It was just a one of a kind, one of a kind colorway that we had bought from the Tosh Mobile. Yep. Um, super oh, springy. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was. Uh, so the texture on that one, it's hard to see. I'll, t I'll try and get a good picture of it. But he told us that it, the dye, it was overcooked, so it kind of gave it, that like denim-y, yeah, marbly look. He to called it. it burnt. Burnt. These were that, burnt. That's the right word. So they sold them as one of a kind, mm -hmm. which I thought gave it a lot of character. I like the burnt look. I, yeah, it really is kind of cool. So if you remake the pattern, uh, just pick your favorite worsted weight yarn, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it looks good in a variegated and tonals yeah. and solids okay so that's your knit pattern I like it and now for you all right so I'll start with my original which was this guy which is one of the colors that you'll be getting I think this was one of Megan's favorite colors and I am calling this the Aspen cow because it kind of reminded me of Aspen trees and I lived in Colorado for a spell of time and absolutely loved the Aspens. Always have, always will. You left me. I did. She left me. It was very, it was temporary, but it was needed. I grew a lot as a person. And she went to husband. college. And she left college. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm scarred for life, kid. Okay. <laughs> so, very simple, very easy. Worked in the round, which I normally don't like doing, and did these drop down double crochets just between the posts to kind of create that little effect. Some half doubles, very simple. I like, I like that 
the stitch that looks braided. I yeah. Think I really like that look. Yeah, so I like how when designers and when we've used just the simple stitches in a new way to create these fun effects. So I'm all about the simple elegance. So I made mine up a couple of different times um, because I wanted to make sure that the yardage went far enough to where you could have kind of the same start and the same end. And I managed to get it out of the hank. Played a little yarn chicken, but you should be able to do it. And then I tried mine it, and apply and this is the earth yarns unique worsted i loved working with it it's I, really pretty i had oh, some left over so you could do a couple more repeats and it was a lot of fun now does that have as much give it, it has a little bit of because you have that give but unique, not as much as your yeah the unique doesn't have that give to yeah it like some of the other yarns do but it's very pretty but it's about the same size maybe a little sh little shorter, a little smaller, but still a good size. And then I had somebody test crochet it for me because we wanted to make sure our patterns yes, were on correct. <laughs> and I might have described where the double crochets go incorrectly. Oh, well, I don't know. There was a miscommunication somewhere. So I, you... I interpreted it a little bit differently. So we have a different effect, but it came out to where now you have two patterns. Yes. <laughs> So you'll have the before and after fall aspen cowl, I guess. So, so yeah, this is before where you have the leaves, and this is after where you have just the branches. The branches. <laughs> so you'll have two versions, and I was kind of thinking about it as we were prepping for this video. And I'll write up the pattern to where if you wanted to change between these five sections, because you kind of get five repeats, you can change which stitch you want if you'd like so you kind of get the effects of both right so instead of doing the drop down stitch which you do in between the posts yes i misread it and i did a front post double crochet yes which i still like the it effect. looks great in your pattern it does it, and, it, and the manos really helps that yeah but it looked it was pretty i thought i was i thought i was doing it right <laughs> my bad i'm so sorry um, it could have been written wrong i mean well maybe i i might need to slow down a bit and read mm -hmm. more thoroughly it's okay so but but either yeah, way you do it versions. yeah either way you do it it looks, it, it's really pretty. It's a lot of fun, simple texture, yes. kind of my style. Can't go wrong with it. Good. So yeah, you'll have two versions. You can kind of pick or you can mix and match whatever floats your boat. There you go. So, so if you want to make, these are really quick to make up. I um, think I, I can knit one of these in a day or in an evening. Yeah. It, it's a very quick knit. Um, Holiday, <laughs> we're plugging holiday gifts just so. Yeah, those quick, game wonders. Those, yeah, exactly. Those quick, easy once game wonders that you can do last minute because you forgot that certain person. Mm -hmm. Perfect for that. Use your coupon code in your box. We have lots of manos, lots of different colors. Some tonals um, too. Tonal, variegated. Yeah, solids, variegated, whatever. If you decide that you like the ply yarn better, um, any. One skein of worsted, worsted weight. Yep. We can make it. either one of these cows. Yep. Or you got something in your stash, you get a surprise visitor for the holidays, can whip one up and they're not empty handed. There you go. Yeah. They're <laughs> lifesavers. Yeah. I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. So we hope you liked our patterns. Um, yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. So uh, feel free to post your finished items uh, on our social media pages using the hashtag Naughty Knit Box. Cannot believe this is October. Um, if yeah, if you're not sure how to do that, just email us the picture at naughtyladyyarns at yahoo.com and we will be happy to post those for you. Okay. Phew. Until November. Until next month. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.